Hey there, this is David Cadell, and I'm here to play you a new piece that I wrote using Metropolis Arc 5. I'm a huge fan of the Metropolis Arc series because I love writing the kind of big, over-the-top music that these libraries are made for. So when I got my hands on Arc 5, of course, I had to write a big, dark, thematic track called Escape from Metropolis. So now let's take a closer look. So Metropolis Arc 5 is a collection of really useful tools that can take a score to the next level. There's also some new gems that are already my new go-tos. In fact, in this track, other than the percussion, what you hear is about 95% of instruments from Arc 5. So the start of the track is dark and sinister. We're definitely building up to something. So let's start with these string shorts. This is a section of 12 violins, 8 violas, six celli, and four double basses. And there's a ton of dynamic layers. Okay, so the string shorts play this riff to start the track. We're in 7-8 time, and the strings gradually play louder dynamics. And then I bring in a couple of these really cool orchestral shepherd tones. These are another unique gem of Arc 5. The sound and quality of these are really on another level. So here I'm using the high strings in the choir. They're especially useful when scoring the picture and adding tension to any scene. In fact, I'm getting a little nervous right now. And then I used a bunch of these rips from the high strings and woodwinds that add a dramatic flair to the whole track. And I'm also using this really beefy low strings and winds patch to do crescendos and stabs that are helping to transition to the new sections of the track. Here's that crescendo just by itself. And here's what the stab sounds like. You just can't get that sound from a normal sustain patch. For bass, I'm using the analog synths that come with Metropolis Arc 5. They actually re-amped and recorded them on the Teldec soundstage with the same mics as the other instruments. So with the mic settings, you can decide how much of the room sound you want.
for these quieter sections, I'm using more of the tree mic to get some of that Teldex sound in there. Here it is in context. And then when we get to the busy sections of the track where there's a lot going on, I have a separate track with mostly just the line feed, just to keep things from getting too muddy. After this dark buildup, we get to hear our heroic brass fanfare melody for the first time. I decided to do a kind of call and response with the melody. So the first half is played by the low brass, which is made up of eight horns, four trombones, a tuba, and a chimbasa. And then the second half is played by the brass ensemble, which adds four trumpets to the mix as well. These are marcato and staccatos. You can use key switches or you can use separate tracks, which is what I like to do. But then I decided to cut the melody short as if our heroes have run into trouble all of a sudden. Here I use this choir crescendo and we transition back into the darker theme again. Now the string shorts are playing forte with low brass accents and the choir is adding some dark color as well. And that's where I brought in one of the new combo articulations. The horns and the celli are such a great combo, and I use the legato patch a lot in this track. Along with the trumpet and violin combo. I really got to use all the dynamic range of the string shorts. And here it is with the rest of the track. Now we get to hear the full melody, and this time I've also added the high strings marcato and staccato from Metropolis Arc 1. Now for the percussion, I'm using kind of a greatest hits of the Orchestral Tools percussion collection. I'm using cymbals from Berlin Percussion, uh, low hits from Metropolis Arc 1, the snares and tom ensemble from Arc 3, and of course the quad toms from Tom Holkenborg Percussion. I even threw in the hi-hat from the Metropolis Arc 1 drum kit. And here's all of the percussion together. Now we're midway through the theme and we have this slow dramatic section. Perhaps our characters are dealing with some tragic event. So I'm using the horns and celli legato combo. And the bass is being provided by the low strings and winds. Then I added in the choir legato, both male and female. This choir, in typical orchestral tools fashion, both sounds great and is easy to use. And what's cool in the Metropolis Arc 5 choir is that they're not just singing vowels, but actually singing these kind of pseudo lyrics. It sounds great and I didn't need to use some complicated word builder or anything like that. I just played it in and now I can just pretend like I took three years of Latin in college. Then we have a big triumphant moment right before the final theme kicks in. The brass fanfare is joined by the mixed choir. 
And then for a bit of extra punch, I've added the bass trombones and chimbasi from Tom Hokenborg Brass. In the next part, the strings get their moment to shine. I'm doubling up both these shorts with the string quartet. And then after two measures, I'm going to change the key and the theme finally kicks in. Okay, now we're in full hero mode, so I'll play the brass in this section so you can hear the fanfare articulations. I love how much punch they have. They cut right through the mix. I wanted to give this piece a dramatic ending. So first, I have this ascending chord progression building up. And then I wanted to include one last callback to the same riff that started the piece uh, with the string shorts. Uh, here I also use the playable runs patch from the high strings and the trumpets as well. And then the choir is doing a crescendo as well as a rip at the very end. And here's the whole enchilada. All right, well, I hope you found this video helpful. I've had a blast with Metropolis Arc 5, and just like the others in the Arc series, this has already become a permanent part of my scoring template. For more info and a complete walkthrough, head over to the Orchestral Tools website. And if you'd like to hear more of my music, you can find that on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.